Welcome to the next video in the Patterns in Nature topic for preliminary biology. This video will be looking at two dot points, discuss the significance of technological advances to developments in the cell theory, and use available evidence to assess the impact of technology, including the development of the microscope on the development of the cell theory. So we looked at what the cell theory was in the last video, and we said that it involved three particular points, being that all living things are made up of cells or the products of cells, that the cell is the basic unit of structure and organisation in organisms, and that all cells are produced from pre-existing cells. So what this video is going to do is have a look at the significance of how technology helped us to come up with those three particular dot points. So obviously without technological advances, the development of the cell theory could not have happened. So basically before we had our really simple microscopes in the 1800s, people just believed that everything was as it appeared. Okay, there wasn't really that understanding that large organisms are made up of these tiny microscopic things that all work together in order to um, keep the organism functioning. So the three, the, sorry, the main areas of advancement have been in the invention and further development in the design of the microscope, obviously. And then beyond that, the techniques used in the preparation of specimens to view under the microscope. So the microscope obviously enabled us to see cells, opening the doors for the initial development of the cell theory. As I said, until then, we did have magnifying glasses and things that allowed us to uh, enlarge objects to look at them much closer, but it didn't allow us to go that step further and look beyond the uh, exterior surface of different organisms. So as we can see, we have a simple uh, microscope here, similar to the one that we use in the science lab. And then we use that to be able to have a look at the cells uh, of organisms. So this here in particular is an onion cell. Then beyond that, we then moved on to this understanding that we could stain or colour the specimens in order to be able to have a look at them in much more detail. So we can see in this in this picture here, yes, we can see the cell wall, the cell membrane, however, and the very sort of um, simple image of the nucleus. However, with these staining techniques, we could then break it down and we can actually see that different things are happening inside the nucleus of each of the cells. And that led us to be able to view cell division. So what we're seeing here are the different stages of mitosis in different onion cells of the same plant. So obviously, therefore, technological advances go hand in hand with the development of the cell theory. So as part of the syllabus, we need to be able to assess the impact of technological advances. So be out, to be able to assess something, we need to be able to show the relationship between the pr improvement of the technology and how that has led to, in this case, our increased knowledge and understanding of the cell theory. So we'll be looking specifically at the improvement of the microscope and the techniques involved with the microscope and how that has increased our knowledge. So here's a general statement that we could make about uh, the development of the microscope and our increased knowledge and understanding. So scientists of the time were limited in their research by the technology available to them. As equipment and techniques became more sophisticated, they could collect new evidence leading to new biological views and theories. So we can relate this back to the scientists that we looked at in the previous video. Each of them added some more information to the scientists prior to them, simply because in that time between their discoveries, the equipment and technology, the techniques had become more sophisticated. So the dot point says we need to be able to use evidence to assess the impact of technology. So what we're looking for is the evidence of some advances in technology and their direct effect on the knowledge and understanding that we've gathered to support the statement being the, cell, the uh, development of the cell theory. So in order to do this, you should analyse the material and attempt to determine the links by looking at the sequence of events. So looking at what happened in order from the earliest date through to the closest date. So for example, the invention of the microscope followed by the, was the, followed by the discovery of cells. So until we had the microscope, we weren't able to look beyond the surface of a lot of organisms. Microscopes then improved with the addition of a light source and adjustment screws that were able to change the magnification and allow to focus a bit better. And then we were able to describe the nucleus. The, the addition of achromatic lenses led to better, ex better acceptance by the scientific community. And then the cell theory was proposed. 
And lastly, specimen preparation techniques improved with the use of stains. And then what we were able to see was the chromatin and chromosomes of cells, which then led us to that third dot point of the cell theory that uh, cells came from pre-existing cells. So we were able to observe mitosis taking place. So you then need to assess the impact of technology on the development of the cell theory. So to make an assessment, we need to be able to look at the positives and the negatives, but then make an overall judgment as to whether it has been a positive or a negative. So basically, our conclusion could sound something like, therefore, new technology has had a great impact, which is your judgment or assessment, on the development of this theory, because without the advances in technology, the current knowledge and understanding would not have been possible. Okay, so what we'll be doing is doing a little bit of research, creating a timeline, and then having a look at how things have changed over time and how our understanding has increased dramatically as a result of the development of different technologies, which then will allow us to make a valid assessment. And that's it for this video. Thank you.